Guys, let's wrap this up quickly. I gotta get back in time. Happy Back to the Future Day, everybody. As you're probably aware, October 21st, 2015 is the date Marty McFly travels to in Back to the Future 2. And while we don't have Jaws 19 or a fax machine in every room, we do have hoverboards. Sort of. Ever since the film came out, kids, and let's be honest here, plenty of adults, have been aching to get their hands on a hoverboard. After the film's release, there were rumors that toy companies had actually developed the technology, but deemed it too dangerous to sell to the general public. In 2014, a viral video claimed that a new product called Hover, that's H-U-V-R, had brought the hoverboard to life. The video featured Tony Hawk, Christopher Lloyd, and other celebrities, all of whom expressed wonder at the technology. But the truth is, it was a joke. The effects were all done with wires, harnesses, and some digital manipulation. But don't despair, we do have some examples of real hoverboards. First, a few DIY enthusiasts have attempted to build a sort of hoverboard drone hybrid. These gadgets use rotors to provide lift. They don't quite fit the skateboard form factor and they're pretty loud, but it's a start. Then there's the approach Lexus took in a marketing campaign. Engineers used an interesting quirk of physics. They paired superconductors with magnetic fields. When cooled to insanely low temperatures, superconductors can lock to a magnetic field and levitate. The downsides of this approach are that you need a supply of liquid nitrogen to keep your superconductors cold, and you can only ride the hoverboard over magnets. And then we have the Hendo hoverboard, which held a Kickstarter campaign, and if you pledged at the $10,000 level, congratulations, you now have a Hendo hoverboard. The updated release was unveiled today. This hoverboard uses electromagnets and must operate on top of a copper surface to levitate. The super cool thing is the Hendo hoverboard is really a proof of concept. It uses a technology called magnetic field architecture, a term coined by founder Greg Henderson. Henderson's long-term goal is to incorporate this design into actual buildings and other large structures. Why? because it could save lives and billions of dollars if you could simply levitate a building to avoid an earthquake or flood. As Marty McFly would say, that's heavy. And moreover, I'd say it makes our actual future look even crazier than what we saw in Back to the Future Part 2. And as my namesake in Back to the Future, Principal Strickland would say, don't be a slacker. Be sure to come back to now.howstuffworks.com every day for more of the coolest news going on right now.